In today's lesson, we look at how to find the resultant of three or more vectors acting at a point. In our last lesson, we saw how to find how to use the parallelogram law to find the resultant of two forces acting at a point. But today we'll be seeing how to use how to find the resultant of three or more vectors acting at a point. Now we use this example to help us. We use this example to help us understand how to find the resultant of three or more forces. Here we have 60 newtons, 20 newtons, 8 newtons, all acting at a point but at different directions. When solving such problems as this, the first thing is to ensure that these vectors are resolved individually along the two perpendicular directions. That is, you must resolve the two vectors, one along the, each of the vectors, make sure they are resolved along the x, the y direction and also the x direction. Number two is to add each of the components together. You sum up the components of each of these vectors and the third thing you're going to do is to find the resultant of the summed components along a particular direction. Now let's get started with this example. Now from our example above, here is, let me just do a, a, a fresh sketch. I have my 60 newton in the direction of your x axis, I have my 8 newton and 60 newton in the direction of your y axis, 8 newton in the direction of your x axis, you have your 20 newtons is acting at 60 degrees to the x axis and also you have your 3 newton acting in the negative direction of the y axis. And you now have your 5 newton acting at 30 degrees at 30 degrees to the x axis at the negative part of the x axis. Now, the first thing for us to do is to resolve each of these forces into their components. Let's take the 60 newton first. The 60 newton has its components in the as it's is acting on the y axis and is just on the positive part of the y axis. So let's call that Fy, let's say Fy1, that will be equals to 60 Newton. But Fx1 for the 60 Newton, obviously that will be equals to what? 0. Now for the 8 Newtons, that's Fy2 now. Fy2 for the 8 Newton, that's 0 in Newtons. And Fx2, let's call that Fx2 for the 8 Newtons, that will be 8 Newtons. Now for the 20, for the 20 Newton component of the for the 20 newton, let's resolve it into its component. Now we can use Sokatoa. In case you miss our lesson on Sokatoa, we'll place a link in the description below. Now here is it. Here is 20 newtons. This is the Fx. Let's call that Fx3. And let's call the Y component Fy3. Now from Sokatoa, you know that Fx, Fx over the 20 newton will be equals to cos theta. So that f x3 will be equals to 20 cos theta that's cos 60 sorry and so i have my fx3 to be equals to 20 cos 60 and my fy or definitely my fy3 will be equals to 20 sine 60. now that's that's taking care of we've taken care of the 20 we've taken care of the 60 the 8 newtons now for the 3 newton is in the negative part of my y axis I'll call that my Fy4, which is equal to minus 3 Newton. And the Fx of that is definitely equal to what? 0. Now for my 5 Newton, which is the last force for us to resolve. To resolve 5 Newtons, you see that, look at this this way. Here is 30 degrees. Now, I will prefer to have a demonstration of that soon. Here is 30 degrees. Here is 5 Newtons. So the Fx here. And you have your y component here so that fy5 now will be equals to that will be 13. now if you look at this this arrow here is pointing downwards that's in the negative component of the y axis that will be minus 5 cos sine sorry minus 5 sine 13 and my fx4 fx5 now yes 4 fx5 now will be equals to 
minus again because it's pointing in the negative direction that's minus 5 cos 30 minus 5 cos 30 now let's to so find out final now to sum up each of them have been resolved now we're going to sum up the fy for our fy will come from 60 60 plus 0 plus 20 sine 60 minus 3 minus 5 sine 30 so that's fy is equals to 16 plus sine 60 sine 60 is equals to 0 0.866 times 20 that is equals to 17 that's 17.32 minus 3 minus 5 sine 13 sine 30 is the same thing as 0 0.5 times 5 that's equals to 2.2.5 2.5 so that's my fy now will be given as 16 plus 17 point that's 17.32 minus 3 minus 2.5 that's equals to 71 that's equals to 71.82 now in the same way we will now look for our fx now fx now is 0 plus 8 that's 8 plus 20 cos 16 minus 5 cos 30 that's equals to 8 cos 60 that's the cost of 60 that should be 0 0.5 cost of 60 0 0.5 times 20 that's equals to 10 8 plus 10 minus 5 cos 30 cos 13 is equals to times 5 is equals to that's 5 cos 30 is minus 4.5 3, which is equal to 8 plus 10 minus 4.33 that's equal to 13 that's equal to 13.67 now since we now have go to the f the f and the uh, the y and the x component our force should not look like this is sorry this is a that's the y axis this is the x axis now let's say if you have a force that means i have my y component this way the force should look this way then my this is my resultant my y component is 71 points missed the point that's 71.82 71.82 while my x component is 30 is it 13 13, 13.67, 13.67, so that, now, the resultant will come from, you can now use, if this is our resultant R, obviously, R now will be equal to the square root of 71.82, all squared plus 13.67, all squared, R now will be equal to the square root of 71.82 all squared that's 71.82 all squared that's 5158.11 plus 13.67 all squared plus 186.87 now plus that means i have i should now have 5158.11 plus 186 186.87 that's equals to the square root of 5344.98 now solve the square root of 5344.98 because as a, the resultant force is 73 
newtons. Now, to solve for the angle, obviously the angle will be given as tan theta is equals to 71.82 over 13.67. Now, your 71.82 divided by 13.67. That is equals to 5.25. Now, theta now will be equals to actan inverse of 5.25. So that theta is equals to 79.25. One five, which is approximately seventy nine point two in degrees. Now, so with this, uh, we've shown with, with this, we now understand how to solve for resultant of three or more forces. In the week ahead, we will do more examples, and if you have questions, you can reach out to us through the comment sections or through our personal DMs. Thank you, and do have a nice day.